Hey nerdy ghouls, I wanted to film a quick little intro for you guys because I feel like this video did not go as I had planned or expected for some reason. But long story short, this video is pretty much not your typical hunting video. It's more like spend a day with me while I go hunting and I kind of treated it as like you all are my friends because you are just kind of like what I would be telling you if we were inside the store or if we were hanging out for the day, just you know being best school friends um, so that's kind of what you can expect in this video before we jump into everything though I wanted to give a major thank you to my latest nerdy ghoul society subscribers to the official memberships um, so I want to give a major thank you to moody exorcist poppy buttons uh, Rosie Resendez nightshade butterfly Ashley Rapuano Sanchez, Mandy Days, and of course uh, Claudia and Monica for being the first official Nerdy Ghoul Society members. I'll be talking a lot more about it in depth um, towards the end of this video, but pretty much those are all the people who subscribe to my official memberships at the link in the description below who are going to be getting access to all of these awesome perks coming to the channel, so be sure to check those out. Alright, so now I'm just going to get you guys back situated into how the video was actually supposed to start. I hope you enjoy it. Hello and welcome to any new nerdy ghouls that might be watching. My name is Mandy Spooks and this is our spooky oasis where we celebrate the magic of Halloween and spooky pop culture. So if you like keeping the spook alive, you love spooky pop culture, you love hanging out with a spooky ghoul, then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so that you don't miss out on any of the fun spooky stuff we're brewing up for you. <laughs> Alright, so full disclosure, I tried getting Dutch Bros before making my first stop and the line was so long I was like I ain't got time for that but I'm hoping we can get coffee at some point I just stopped by at Joanne's because I had previously bought a couple of items um, during my last hunting video I'll put it right here and as much as I preach about not buying things you're not sure about or don't need I realized that a lot of the things I bought that day were things that I don't actually need or want or want to hold off for better things. So in a way, I'm kind of following my own rule of returning things and not being afraid to do it. So I had bought this like um, coffin skeleton tray. I'll put a picture here if I can find it online. Um, and then I had bought these like corn candy plates as well. But the thing is, I didn't really want four plates. I just wanted one to have like variety, if that makes sense. Um, so I came and I returned those. I was going to film footage of me hunting for you ghouls, but this is a me day. And I just figured I'll just film the highlights for you because we're making so many stops that I'm like, I'm not going to have time to share everything. So my one highlight of Joanne's was um, this cute little section that had, um, they're called, there is a word for things that they put at the last aisle, like to make you buy, like impulse buy. I, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing the word, but Basically what it was, I'm looking at my phone because I, I have footage on my phone. There was this cute little like tumbler that said, oh my gourd on it. And I really loved it. I would have totally gotten it. I wasn't a fan of the design, but I love the phrase, oh my gourd. Joanne usually has like such cute drinkware, to be honest, but I don't know why I've never bought in anything there. Um, so they had a lot of cute tumblers and mugs and I really loved that one of the um, like wine glasses they had said trick or drink because I haven't seen that phrase before. And I don't know, I feel like the more popular being spooky and Halloween year round has become the more variety and like clever puns we've started to get and I really love that. Um, I had also seen a lot of like soap dispensers at um, Joanne's and that was one of the items on my list for hunting today but they weren't quite what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is like a small Halloween themed soap dispenser that I can use in my car for hand sanitizer moving forward but it just didn't quite work out and then I did run into, wait sorry I'm getting ahead of myself. So I was gonna film more like I said but then I decided not to and also I was kind of surprised that Joann's didn't really have that much more than they had about a month ago when I went. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it just wasn't that much more or maybe I just expected a lot more but it just wasn't like 
whole store of Halloween yet, you know? So I was kind of bummed about that. And then I went to Ross and they had about like four little like aisles of like random Halloween stuff. Um, there was one pillow that I really, really, really wanted because it was total like Ghoulmates vibes, purple and green. But I've learned the hard way that we just don't do well with a lot of like extra pillows in the house. So I decided not to get it. Um, but I don't know. I've been seeing so many ghouls in the spooky community posting all these amazing Ross finds. And I don't know what it is about me that like the last couple of years since COVID, I feel like Ross just has not been the same with anything like not just Halloween stuff but it's been kind of a bummer for me because I used to love shopping at Ross and I just feel like since that happened it just hasn't been the same so I would love to know like you ghouls that are finding these like awesome Ross finds like are they just like random one one little item things you're finding or are they really like shelves full of stuff at your Ross because it's like hit or miss at mine like there's just no full aisles of things at Ross since COVID and that was happening in Arizona and it's here in Colorado too so I don't know what is going on but I really miss the good old days when Ross was like a vibe. <laughs> um, next we're gonna go to Spirit. For the first time this season I have been so busy that I just haven't had a chance to go to Spirit and I've been like really sad about it because I've always gone opening day in whatever area I have lived in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to Spirit. We're also gonna stop at At Home to return a couple of items. Um, I'll talk about that more in a while. And then Home Goods as well. Uh, Dollar Tree, hopefully. And I don't know what else is gonna happen, but I'm very excited to continue this day with you ghouls. So let's see what, what the day brings. <laughs> Okay, goals. I have not had a spirit sighting this year. Like, I have been, like, so consumed with work and life that I have not been out. I just saw the sign as I was pulling up, and I got so excited because, like, I just have not seen one. And I see that there's, like, a Wednesday costume uh, and Frankenstein costume. Like, I had not seen anything this year. I feel so out of the loop, so this is going to be really exciting. <laughs> I actually like passed by a Starbucks on my way here and I was like, nope, we're going to Spirit. I can't wait anymore. We'll get the coffee after to refuel. <laughs> All right, I got my first Spirit serotonin of the season, uh, but I did not film as much in there because it was a different experience. So this was a smaller Spirit than I have seen before and also... They had like the lights off to make it spookier. I tried filming footage to show you like how dark it was, but the phone um, adjusts to lighting so it didn't look as dark as it actually is. But I myself was having a hard time seeing like the details of like costumes and stuff. But it also took me back because I used to live in San Antonio through college and they used to have these like more local Halloween stores where they would be like these smaller settings with the lights off and stuff so I really enjoyed that aspect of it but yeah it was kind of hard to see like if I was shopping for a costume specifically I would not have been the happiest ghoul to be honest um, but they had a lot of good stuff I was really surprised to see all of the Wednesday merch and costumes they had and also there were these new let me look look at them they almost look like snow globe-esque horror things um I hadn't seen them before, but they were like in a little like glass capsule type thing and they had Leatherface, It, um, and Michael Myers and I thought that was cool because I had not seen it. Everything felt so new to me because I've been so out of touch with anything Halloween hunting related this year. And I did want to tell you that they had an entire set of these door covers and I cannot confirm if they are the same, but I bought a door cover from Spirit two years ago that I finally opened that was the Beetlejuice Sandworm. You might have seen it like vaguely in my not another spooky podcast setup where it's like along the door next to me and I really love them because they're not like those plastic like staple tape on types they're like actual cloth that go over the doors so it's a really cool um door cover if you really want some I highly recommend them they're worth the cost and they look really nice because they're not like all shiny and like plasticky that they look weird on camera So I recommend those and there was one item that I really loved that I would have totally bought on a like whim if I had known where to put it, which was the hand selly thing. Um, I had seen it online, but I thought it was going to be bigger and I could have like used it for rings and stuff. 
but it was kind of small in person so I decided not to get it but it's really pretty if you have a place for it and I was really tempted to get those um, tumblers with Danny and Wednesday on them they were really cool so yeah that was a pretty decent first spirit run I think I'm gonna have to look for like a bigger one because like I said this one was smaller less things um so I'm looking for one of those like open floor plan spirits you know the kind you know there's like the little ones and the big ones so I need to find a big spirit near me <laughs> sorry I got awkward because this guy parked like right next to me and decided to just like stare don't you just love that anyway um so yeah i noticed they had a lot of new costume lineups like wednesday barbie they had an entire collection of like disney princesses and characters which i thought was really cool um they had a lot more scooby-doo than in the past from what i've seen i didn't get to see those new like horror babies that they've been showing i really wanted to see them because when they first came out online i thought they were like really small for the price but from what i've been seeing um through instagram it looks like they're bigger so i wanted to see those in person but i didn't get to so next i'm gonna head over to at home I really need to find coffee somewhere though because oh my god I just saw a sign it was like meant to be as soon as my eyes went this way I saw Wendy's if you guys have not tried their frosty iced coffee oh my god you're in for a surprise so that's where we're going because it's a vibe today is a very special occasion there is no pumpkin things out yet by the time you see this there will be but it's literally August 13th and I'm three days short of at least pumpkin spice at Dunkin so I'm gonna show you guys my favorite um, my favorite special day treat <laughs> okay change of plans I did get my drink which I'm gonna talk all about but I forgot that there is a big lots right here and a Bath and Body Works so I'm just gonna knock those off of my list for today but first the moment we've been waiting for finally some coffee for this school so I just want to say that this does not look like the one I have had before, so they might have changed it, but we'll find out. To my knowledge, in the past, it was like actual frosty mixed in with coffee, like as the cream. Um, I don't know what this is, so we're going to try it. Um, but I'm considering this my birthday treat. I haven't shared this yet, but by the time you see this, it'll be way late. Um, it was my birthday weekend, and... I've kind of mentioned before that I've been like really busy and stressed so today Mr. Spooks was like I want you to leave the house for the entire day and I just want you to spend the day like doing your thing having a Mandy day vlogging do whatever you want and like do that as your birthday gift everyone asked me like what are you doing for your birthday and I was just like I'm not in the mood for celebrating this year I don't know why I'm not depressed or sad about my birthday I just felt like I needed more just like me personal space than anything and to be able to just hang out with you ghouls to be honest so this is kind of like my treat to myself which is why I was so mad that there was such a long line at Dutch Bros because I had a free birthday drink of course and that didn't work out so I'll have to go back another time but anyway here we are hmm I think they're tricking us It's all right, to be honest. Not worth the sugar. Um, yeah, it feels like they take changed their recipe because they used to. If anyone knows more about this, please let me know in the comments down below. But for a while, they were making the um, cold brew, like taking the cold brew and then putting frost, like actual frosty ice cream in it. And it was so good. And then I think this is the reason why that TikTok trend became, became a thing where people were buying like mcdonald's cones they were buying like large iced coffees and then an ice cream cone and putting it in the coffee and i'm pretty sure that idea originated from the whole frosty concept i don't know what this is but it's definitely a downgrade from the way they were doing it before <laughs> uh, so yeah i am gonna hit up big lots and bath and body works and i'll be back all right we need to talk about how big lots is the best place for halloween hunting and maybe that's an unpopular opinion but i just feel like 
Halloween has become so commercialized, which is great because we love spooky season, right? And we want it year round. But I feel like Big Lots just always hits that sweet spot of like nostalgic, cozy Halloween vibes that like just hit home the same every year. I don't know what it is. Like spirit always feels like spirit. At home feels like at home. Home goods feels like all these cool like trendy items but like big lots it's just like wrap me up in a cozy blanket and put on a cozy movie and you just like understand me big lots so needless to say big lots broke mandy spooks today and finally got me to buy something because i've been like very good especially because i know i'm returning some things today i've just been like no like i don't want to get anything i'm gonna end up returning so i'm gonna be sharing with you goals what i got but first i need to refuel that tastes much better after like being in the store for a while so i also haven't mentioned that the day is absolutely perfect i looked it up and it is 72 degrees right now it has been overcast like on and off all day but it has finally like been overcast for a while so i am feeling all the spooky following love um so without further ado i did find soap and or soap dispensers i should say with soap in them i don't think they're gonna fit in my car the way i had planned i'm checking they don't but they were must buys so big lots had these super cute soaps and they were only 249 like hello how could i not get these this one is the scent autumn leaves let me see i don't know about autumn leaves but hey it is affordable soap that look super cute and you could always refuel them too i mean 249 for the cost of the this like soap dispenser itself is enough this pumpkin one hello look at how cute this one is also 249 i think pretty sure it was the same price um and it's pumpkin spice okay i'm not gonna lie the scents are not a vibe but you can always dump them out and use fresh soap we go through soap like crazy so i'm not too worried about it and they're also relatively small and i'm really glad i went to big lots before bath and body works because um i was getting ready to buy soap at bath and body works but you all know that i'm on a budget i was just like you know what it's cute it's affordable i think it's a steal and then I also ended up getting the spiderweb welcome mat that I'll show right here. I was going to show you on camera, but suddenly everyone's parking around me now. <laughs> um, but it was so cute. It was really hard to pass up because, can I just say, why does all Halloween decor have to say Halloween on it? That is like my biggest gripe, especially as a spooky person year round. Like, why does everything have to say Halloween on it? Every welcome mat I've seen that is like actually black says halloween on it so this was like must purchase as soon as i saw it and it was only 12.99 so i really loved that and then of course after the welcome mat i did end up getting some b-roll for you guys of big lots halloween because it just brought me so many wonderful warm my spooky heart vibes um so i'll be showing you here i really love this little pumpkin dancing it was so cute and there was like a lot of nightmare before christmas merch um there was a huge scarecrow thing that was really cool i was like why isn't he trending so i just feel like big lots is super underrated and i don't understand why because it's one of my favorite places they actually had this garland that i really want for my spook mush tree but i figured i would go shop at at home and michael's before I decide on actually purchasing it so I'm hoping that I can get all of that done today still which is a lot um, and then what else oh Bath and Body Works so then uh, like I said I decided not to purchase the Bath and Body Works soap because I just I think it's a little too expensive for my budget right now if I'm being honest like sure i can afford it but should i probably not um plus i haven't even said this yet but i'm just dying for walmart halloween to happen because i feel like all of my must-haves this season are typically things that walmart has at really affordable prices so that's kind of why i've been trying to be like very um conservative with what i'm getting right now because i just feel like a lot of what i want is going to be at walmart and it's always like the last store that puts things out so 
I was not planning on purchasing a pocket back holder today, this or this year from Bath and Body Works, but like, how could I not? This was so freaking cute, and I was expecting it to be like 10, 15, 20 dollars. It was $6.95, and I knew immediately he's gonna be perfect for my Backstage Bruja pumpkin TV bag because the reason I wasn't gonna buy any more pocket back holders is because I love the purple witch hand I bought last year or two years ago. I don't remember when it was. Um, and I like basically transfer it between all my bags because I love it so much. But this one was like, it's orange and it's cozy and it's perfect for all my pumpkin patch adventures this year. So it's going on my pumpkin TV bag. And then, unpopular opinion, I am not a huge fan of most of the Halloween scents, so I did not purchase any sanitizers that were Halloween, but I did purchase um, afternoon apple picking because it's just like very fresh and smells like apples. You guys know my favorite thing about Halloween season is apples. So, um... I, th I got this one and then one of my favorite scents is finally back because I don't think they have it year round Flannel. Um, I only got one because apple is more for fall and that's what I wanted um, And then I found a new one which was coconut and cardamom 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 And oh my god, it smells so so good. I love coconut so much So I got two of these you guys know their deal is like five for eight dollars and honestly it kills me that I have to buy Bath & Body Works sanitizers because I would be fine with like dollar Purell ones, but um, I have the pocket back holders, so I have to like purchase these specifically. So that's where Bath & Body Works gets me every year. Um, but that's pretty much everything I have so far. Next, I'm heading to at home and I wanted to talk a little bit about the things that I'm going to be returning just for just to like show you guys that not everything has to be about spending and like doing what's right for camera so um me and mr spooks actually had this really cool diy planned out for um the channel which was to create our own millie millie mini pumpkin skeleton head of the one that's trending that came out um i think it came out for the first time last year at target and then um i have a picture here and then joanne's um did a, another one this year but it was like crazy expensive so mr spooks when we went to at home he was like hey what if we make a mini version and it's more affordable and it's diy so i was like oh my god yeah i'm so excited so we had bought the mini skeleton and we had bought the mini pumpkin head that i um really loved that I said looks like the one Hello Sparkles made me for my shirt. The pumpkin head, we got the skeleton and Mr. Spooks was gonna replace the head with the pumpkin and then spray paint all of it a solid color, which was gonna be about like 20, 30 dollars, which is still like a quarter or a third of what the big size one is. But then I saw that Spirit Halloween actually had one. I saw, I wanna say maybe Sabrina had bought it or showed it at some point and I was like, oh man, they have what we were gonna do. And I think it was about the same price in the end. So it was just like, well, they could just buy it at Spirit and we don't really have the time to do like DIY stuff right now. So I decided to return those materials um, to save a little bit of money. And then I had bought my like, what I thought was my holy grail items, which were like the little vampire and the little witch. I did take pictures before packing them up today because I was like really sad about it. Um, so what, sorry, I always get nervous when someone's like walking around, like are they gonna come tell me something? Anyway, I'm talking so much you guys, I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. Um, anyway, the little, um, little Dracula thing and the little witch didn't work out because I had actually planned on putting them on top of my shelves in the bedroom where my purses are hung. Um, I thought they were gonna show up for the podcast background if I put them in those spots but they didn't because the camera angle needed to be lower than we had anticipated and I really really want to keep them but I ultimately don't have a spot for them and that's one of my rules if I don't have a space for something or know where it's gonna go or an intention I can't have it so I'm returning them even though it breaks my heart <laughs> um, and I think that was everything oh and I think I had bought that like spooky word that was like really bubbly it's really cool but also I don't have a spot for it so just me being honest that sometimes as much as I preach I do impulse purchasing still and it's okay to return them when you realize that that's why today has just been like 
so many stops because I'm making all my wrongs right and also being more intentional than ever because I learned that as much as I think I've I've gotten past it I haven't I'm still there but I don't think I'll be returning anything I've purchased so far today all right that is enough for me let's get back to hunting and head over to at home all right goals oh my gosh I don't know what it is every time I go to at home hunting it is draining and I think it's because I let out so much spooky excitement and also definitely like the most aisles there are so it's just like <sighs> I remember I got a like flashback of how rough it was when we were like hardcore hunting all the time so I did get a few things the first one's too big to show um, but I got this rug or mat that has these like neon bats on it to kind of complement the spiderweb one we have. Um, I just hate that all of the like really thick, good um, quality mats are those like burlap, like those like brown grass type thingies. I know why it's those materials. I just hate it because it's not a vibe for our decor. So hopefully this bat one will hold us over. It's kind of like oversized and we really need one to um, place at the entrance during like winter when we're bringing in all of our like wet snow boots and stuff. So I got that and then I found the cutest little gift for Mr. Spooks. I got him this mug to take to work and it says Hey Boo on it. I'll try to see if I can find some footage but early in our relationship we used to call each other Boo and like anytime I'd be getting his attention I'd be like Hey Boo. Um, so this was just like a flashback to our early days and I know he always loves to have like his work mug so I was like I think he'll really love it if I take him like a gift as a surprise and then I am so freaking sad that that freaking cute little vampire pastel line has not worked out for me so I was really happy to find the plates so I got the witch and they were only $3.99 and then I got the bat but at least it's only like one of each and I can definitely use them for all of my like spooky meals and stuff so that is like as far as my little pastel kitty line is gonna go for me I found the cutest little vampire version of him I took pictures pretty much I just had a ton of fun taking pictures like there were so many fun inflatables like wow where have I been I told Mr. Spooks, I texted him and I was like, we need to come back for pictures because it's a vibe. Like it, it's like going on a spooky adventure just through the inflatables. There's so many, they're so cool. I love that they expanded their um, mad scientist line. I know we had only seen the beginning of it in my first hunting video. And then I was really shocked to see like an entire end cap of horror character stuff. Okay, at home, trying to branch out and do all the things. They're also getting into like trying to get all of the like baking goods too. So there's just like so many fun things happening. I wasn't expecting it. Guys, Halloween is kind of like a big deal now and it's all because of us just saying <laughs> um so yeah i am freaking tired my batter batteries are running low now um it is let's see it's already 5 45 i think that's the latest i've ever stayed out by myself in colorado oh my god that's hilarious um so i'm going to home goods next to let me see i reached it okay it breaks my heart, but I've decided against the espresso cups because they are really cute, but I've been seeing some online or like some of you posting your um, finds from like Marshalls and stuff, and there are a lot of like black ones. I don't know why everyone wants to park by me today, guys. It's just like the ongoing theme. I don't even remember what I was saying. Okay. So I have these espresso ones that were like my first holy grail find as well but the more I've thought about it and seen what you guys are doing on or finding on Instagram I'm really hoping to find one that's like a black set with like bats or something I don't know I just don't know that this is my year round vibe anymore as much as I like impulse bought them so that's what I'm going to be returning at home goods and then I have these like random returns for Walmart and Five Below that have like nothing to do with Halloween. Um, but the Home Goods I'm going to has a Michaels and Dol 
Dollar Tree nearby, I believe. I'm not sure if they have Five Below. So I think that might be my last stop before I go to my final stop of Walmart, but I highly doubt that Walmart's gonna have any Halloween yet. A ghoul can dream. Um, but yeah, I have no idea how long this video is gonna be, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this style of just like hanging out for the day, not really doing anything in particular, but just, you know, having some ghoul friend vibes. All right, let's head over to the next shopping center. <laughs> All right, I think your ghoul has finally reached her quitting point for today. <laughs> I went to Home Goods, did my return. There were so many cute things. I need to start like looking at what I got footage of so I f don't forget to tell you guys about it. I saw a lot of mugs, of course. Um, I loved the evil villains from Disney set. Like if I were not like set on my vibe, I would have probably gotten those to be honest. What else did I see? Um, that was pretty much it. There was like a lot, but I didn't get a lot of video of many things. Um, just because I'm getting tired already. I did swing by Dollar Tree and Michaels and this was like the most clean Michaels I've ever seen. I only got footage to show you guys. Like it was so like spaced out and organized and beautiful. I love their neon um, line. I just wish that it had purple in it. And I'm very tempted to get that countdown calendar. I just feel like it's kind of pricey to be honest. So I keep like going back and forth on wanting it. And my Dollar Tree did not have the cute little witch line that I've been seeing everyone has. I was very unimpressed with what I saw at, at Dollar Tree. So yeah, I am going to head to Walmart and do my last return and head home for the day. Uh, I did forget to mention that while I've been like driving around, I've been um, listening to one of my audiobooks for Spookworm Club. So this is your reminder, or if you're new here, I do have Spookworm Club, which is our spooky following book club where we read um, themed books every month. And this month's theme was Hauntathon. So I have been listening to... I switched it up because I was originally listening to How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix, but the weather was so moody that I decided decided to start another book on my list, which is Ravenfall by Kaylin Josephson. And I believe it's a middle grade book, but as soon as I started it, it was like vibey and took off super quick. So that's what I've been listening to. The rest of the month, I'll be listening and reading to more um, haunted house themed books and watching movies and TV. Um, on this drive, I also actually recorded a quick uh, TBR slash TBW to be watched list um, for Hauntathon for my members. So you can check out the different tiers below. I think it's the $5 and up tiers that get the extra bonus videos. So if you're interested in watching my TBRs, those are, um, I'll be posting my TBRs for the memberships moving forward just because that content is, I found not, it's something I want to do, but not necessarily the best thing to be putting on my like weekly rotation. So that's where I decided to put it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys had fun. Please let me know in the comments down below how you felt about this um, really weird, like spend the day with me. I don't feel like it was like an actual hunting video as much as it was just like hanging out with me and fangooling with me. I also wanted to say that I totally understand that my hunting videos might not be what you all are looking for. So I did want to recommend some ghouls who are doing an amazing job at it, which are of course Pumpkin and Grey, Sierra Ween, uh, Cassie's Coven. Um, those are really going to be your ghouls to keep an eye on for those really thorough hunting videos. They've been doing an amazing job. I am just just not in this headspace to continue doing hunting videos the way I used to. I feel like these are more hang out with me while I hunt or window hunting videos. So please check out their channels if you haven't already. I'll leave their links in the description below. I hope you all are having a great kickoff to your spooky season. I feel like it's really in the air now and I can't wait to keep hanging out with you ghouls. Until next time, sending you ghouls and kisses. Bye!